It's relatively rare. It mostly affects people with a history of alcohol and tobacco use. Recently, there has been an increase in younger patients who don't have that kind of history. Katie LaSalle talked to a local oncologist to learn more about the risk and warning signs of the disease. Dr. Andrew Nemechek, Chief of the Head and Neck Tumor Program at Swedish Medical Center joins us now. Doctor, it is so lovely to have you for our monthly series on cancer awareness. So can you start with just some general information on the head and neck cancer and maybe how tobacco and alcohol use play a role? Yes, people are affected by head and neck tumors, head and neck cancer, especially um, in the structures of the, on the outside, especially skin and the face, but also the inside as well, <clears throat> your oral cavity and portions of the throat, including the voice box. Those structures are subject to damage by things like viruses and sun damage and, and other things like tobacco and alcohol. And so since all these structures are exposed to the outside, then they're subjected to, to developing tumors, especially malignant tumors. Are there certain symptoms that those watching at home should look out for related to head and neck cancers and tumors? Yes, that's a really important question because the, the, the signs and symptoms of head and neck cancer are very common. And because they're so common, it, that contributes to many months of delay for a lot of our patients. And so one would think, think things like nasal obstruction or bloody noses or a change in voice and swallow, a neck mass, and overall not feeling well, not being as energetic as normal, those are such a headache, maybe some eye symptoms as well. If those signs or symptoms persist for a few weeks that um, you're, you visit your clinician, your primary care clinician, and they make an appropriate referral to, uh, to programs that see a lot of tumor patients uh, in that experience. Are there things we can do to reduce the risk of developing this type of cancer? Very much so always wear a sunscreen, always wear a hat, always wear sunglasses and limit your time of, of doing outside or fitness activities in the middle of the day. That's the most important thing that we can do and see your dermatologist, your skin care professional. I think those are the most important things on the, on the outside of you. On the inside of you, never use tobacco, never ever use tobacco. And that's cigarette tobacco and maybe marijuana tobacco as well. It's a different discussion, of course, in our state, but never use tobacco. Limit alcohol intake. <clears throat> As you know, alcohol is a, is a source of, of chronic drying and chronic inflammation in the mouth and the throat. So the, the limitation of alcohol intake is important, especially in our state. We have a lot of good craft breweries and things like that. So we have to do all those things in moderation and then have excellent prevention, especially on the the viral side. So as young people, young people should always be vaccinated um, against the HPV virus. Such valuable information. Thank you so much, Dr. Nemechek, for You're joining welcome. us today. Thank you for your interest. It was really fun. Appreciate your time.